Mondays with Mike, inspiration to help you land among the stars. Building and maintaining a positive reputation. A reputation is almost like a calling card. It arrives before we do if folks know us. If they are getting to know us, it becomes the energy of presence at all times while it grows, either positively or negatively. Scott Mouts, in his book, Leading from the Middle, shares the following that help us build and or maintain our reputation, or what we'll be known for in all relationships, as a leader, husband or wife, teammate, mother or father. Let's see how our reputation score is by rating ourselves on each of the following qualities. Show a willingness to help. Be responsive to requests for help and lend a helping hand when appropriate to do so. Exude expertise in your area. Be prepared for meetings where you have to show leadership in your area of responsibility. Be objective, logical, and data-based. Avoid being overly emotional and uninformed as you make decisions. Represent your peers fairly consistently, keeping their point of view in mind when they are not present. Would you say it to their face? Take ownership of issues and never pass the buck, blame, or backstab. Be trustworthy. Shine in times of adversity. Be a beacon in dark times. These create impressionable moments. Be sure to credit peers and give them honest praise and appreciation, never grabbing the glory. Exude enthusiasm and a great attitude. Be vulnerable, admit mistakes, and ask for advice. Avoid being a prima donna and a know-it-all. How did we do with our reputation score? Did we have more pluses than minuses in total? Or is there one that we should work on the most, given its impact to those around us? Let's build our reputation in such a way that it lands positively before we physically arrive at the next meeting, game, or event. Have a great week.